The Poudre School District is trying to improve safety near its schools after a young boy was killed last year. Six-year-old Vale Woko died after he was hit just walking outside Lopez Elementary. And since his death, the district's been working to improve safety at each school. Denver 7's Liz Gillardi spoke with the district about these changes. Outside Lopez Elementary School, where a little boy was killed by an SUV. There's still a memorial for Val Wolko. He had just celebrated his sixth birthday in October and the school community is still hurting. My youngest doesn't really understand, but my oldest definitely did. But they're looking for solutions. We want the community to know we're looking at every possible solution to keep their kids safe. Lopez Elementary will hire two paid crossing guards and a pilot program is looking for four volunteers, bringing the total to six crossing guards right outside the school. It's something residents wanted to see when we talked to them back in November. I believe that there should be a crossing guard at every intersection of the school. The district also plans to hire a traffic safety consultant. That person will look at bicycle, pedestrian and vehicle traffic in addition to intersections, school safety zones and the flow of traffic in parking lots. That study will take place at two elementary schools, including Lopez. So that we can understand what are some best practices we could adopt, what are some standard protocols we could look at, and then the idea being that we could implement those at our other schools. In the meantime, the district is looking for volunteers and paid crossing guards, hoping to implement additional solutions to keep kids safe on their way to and from school. We experienced what is really our worst nightmare. Liz Gillardi, Denver 7.